I used to work in central Manchester, a place that did TV commercials. I used to get a bit bored sometimes. And I used to go and hang out in the central library in Manchester and I'd look for ideas to, for sleeves, record sleeves, because we just started with Joy Division and I looked for images for posters and sleeves. Because we came from punk and none of us expected to be featured personally, you were able to get a, uh, an image and a mystery surrounded you that was much more evocative and much more enthralling than having your face stuck on the record cover. I found the Unknown Pleasures image in a scientific magazine. A CP1919 Pulsar image. Or was it a, an encyclopedia? It's like the monolith on 2001. That is immediately what struck me about the image. I was very, very influenced by that film. I used to have pretty bad insomnia, so I used to watch videos. But I'd seen it a few times, so I used to have it just playing in the background while I was soldiering away at stuff. And then the monolith caught my eye and stuck in my mind. I just looked at it and it was some kind of resonance. And then when I saw the well, No Pleasures image, there was a complete resonance there. And I thought this would make a great record sleeve. Then I gave it to Peter Saville. Originally it was black and white, and he reversed it out and reduced it, which I like very much. Every merchandiser you talk to will quite happily tell you bands being ripped off for bootlegs. Joy Division are firmly number one. We have never done anything about it for 43 years. You know, there's nothing more punk than that, is there? And the funny thing is, it's a great image, and we remember, we remember seeing it and saying, that would make a great T-shirt. And we said, we don't do T-shirts. Band T-shirts. Fair enough. And there you go. It's quite ironic that, you know, when the tax man did his investigation, the first thing he found us for were Joy Division T-shirts, because he didn't believe that we were idiotic enough not to do them. <laughs> or idealistic enough not to do them. Because we didn't believe in promotion. Everything about Joy Division was about letting the music speak for itself. To see it everywhere is... I've seen someone wearing a burqa with one on. The unknown pleasures thing is, what do they call it these days, a meme. I was watching a news item about a missile raid on Israel and there was a teenage girl running for cover and she had the unknown pleasures thing on. If somebody else, because we didn't do t-shirts, if somebody else I think thought of putting it on a t-shirt, what would these people be wearing now? I wonder what the wavy lines mean. Yeah, that was a very productive day, that day I skied off work. 